Hola chicas, welcome to another episode of Get It Girl. On today's Girl Talk, we are going to talk about the power of the words. Can changing the way you talk make you more successful? And on the couch today, we have spiritual traveler Ileana Simancas and our one and only Clarice Wildflower. All of that and more here on Get It Girl. that self-talk can affect the way you feel. It can boost you up or it can take you down. There's no doubt about that, but there's a recent studies that state that not only it can affect your mood, but how successful you are in life. Do you girls agree? I absolutely agree. Mm. I've seen it 10 plus years in being a health coach now. The number one thing that I focus on, believe it or not, is actually not the exercise. The exercise is one component of it, but mm. people that come to me have very negative self-talk. You know, the way that they talk to themselves really does dictate the success in your life. Mm. And I always say it starts with just looking at yourself in the mirror yeah. and speaking to yourself yes, yeah. because the thoughts in here, sometimes we have voices in here from friends or family yeah. and, and, and we don't realize that those words really, really yeah. dictate and manifest your reality. I do look myself in the mirror, even if it sounds crazy, and I talk to Me myself. Me too. Mm. Like, yeah, you I got think it's this so girl, powerful. it's gonna be an amazing day today. We're gonna kill it. and. Honestly, I feel like the energy you put out there, it's the energy you're going yeah. to receive. What do it's you think? It's true. I, I mean, I do it still too. Like I watch myself in the mirror and I sometimes ask my questions. I ask myself like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Like, uh, what? Where do you want to put yourself into? Where? Where's your future? Like, asking me questions, having conversation with myself at, with the mirror. You know? Yeah, and it's proof. It's I mean, Lady Gaga recently talked about it with Oprah. Mm. Cognitive therapy is what really helped her overcome her negative thoughts in her mm. head. And cognitive therapy is really just speaking it out loud, hearing it, mm. and then kind of making good actions according believing to what you're also, saying. Yes, yeah, believing. Yeah, believing. And even sometimes not believing it at the beginning. Because when I started at the beginning or when I start with people coaching them, I have them look at themselves and say, I love myself. And even mm. though at the beginning, they really don't. They really have not taken care of it's themselves. And it's a, it's process. a process. And I think it's important to push yourself. It's kind of like the fake it till you make it. You know, the more positive that you talk to yourself, eventually those words are going to be something you really believe yeah, because I, it's really, we are a computer program. Yeah. Our brain that, runs yeah. on an autopilot. And if you're not speaking to yourself constantly and changing your subconscious, yeah. it's it's how we are going to treat ourselves yeah. and it's going to reflect in all of your relationships. Yeah. Sometimes I feel also like you build up and you're like fake it to believe it. And you're like, yes, yes. you can do it. You can do it. And then one day someone tells you something that you don't want to hear and all that that you've been building just falls. Yes, that is true. Right away, yes. a lot of cases like that. If you are, you know, hanging with people that have this negative energy, yeah. then somehow you're gonna absorb that. So, yeah. or you know, there's mornings where I wake up with like, not in the best mood, or you know, like oh, I'm tired, but. You have to fight those thoughts and just mm. push through. And ask yourself yeah. where they come from. I mean, I learned that a lot of my self-talk was my father. My father was very negative growing up, you know? Mm. he Unless I worked at an office and I became a lawyer or a businesswoman, mm. it was like, you're not successful, yeah. you know? And fighting with him the first five years of building my YouTube channel, it was like fight after fight. It's like, ¿qué estás haciendo? You know, you're wasting your life. And, yeah. and you know, constantly hearing that, mm. your brain, again, it's a computer system. Mm. It starts to believe yeah. that. And it when you realize yeah. those thoughts are not your true soul essence, because mm -hmm. your true soul essence and your true spirit is unconditional love and passion and dreams and hopes, you know? And mm. that positive self-talk really is what helped turn my life around. And I still have moments where I want to self-sabotage because this is ingrained for years and years mm. and even though I've been now a good 10 years of constant positive self-talk the brain has those old habits mm. you know we are creatures of habits so, yes like, what, what do you do if you feel like you're trying to now be negative to yourself what what's your strategy to I try to remember the good things that I've done that made me you know feel good and happy mm. and I just feel like you know I want to feel this today I want to do something small and just go to bed at night and be, you know what? 
I did this, you know, I, it was good. I, I tried my best and just. You're remembering your accomplishments. Yeah, mm. remembering the accomplishments and, you know, failure is part of the, the, of success, I guess, mm. but you just gotta try to reset those bad uh, another thoughts thing, with good Yeah, and another ones. thing that really works, you know, I've heard a lot of life coaches say this is write down five things that you're thankful for. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you are feeling down and negative, you know, you just write down simple things mm -hmm. that, you know, that will, you'll make you you'll make yourself feel gratitude and gratitude really is a powerful reading. vibrational mm -hmm. frequency. Yeah. And reading, reading books, books is another thing too. Yeah, reading books. Yeah, reading positive books, but yes. really elevating your vibrational frequency, which is being aware of your thoughts because mm. your thoughts really become your habits and your habits become eventually your reality. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's those good. And gratitude, I always say, is a lifestyle. Mm. It is a habit, just like anything else that you have to build. So anyway, girls, I love this talk. It's so positive. Yes. You guys all know we're all about positive talk, but we'll have to be right back. We need to take a quick break. We are back on Get It Girl with the founder of Lilith Travel, a digital platform that organizes journeys with a soul. In the vein of eat, pray, and love, please welcome Ileana Simancas. Welcome, Ileana. Hello. Hello. Thank Thank you. Happy to have you here today. Thank you I so know. much. So tell us about the Lilith Travels and what made you start it? Well, um, I started Lily Trouble because my life went to hell. <gasps> and <laughs> it always starts with the best stories. You have to get into, you have to destroy things sometimes to build something better and more beautiful. Yes, it's right? true. Well, that's kind of what happened. And uh, it happened in two parts. Hmm. First, it was more like I, I got divorced and then I was living in LA par um, full time before and following my career here and between romance not going so good and my career ups and downs uh, as an actress I, as an actress yes. i decided that uh it was time to do something new and a friend uh, i was moving to spain uh trying to do the part of eating uh, okay. meaning finding pleasure in life yeah. i yes. felt that i was my soul was taken away here oh, los mm. angeles could do that yeah so <laughs> i needed pleasure i need to live for pleasure and uh a friend of mine was like oh you need to have this book so she gave me this book it pray and love and i started reading it and i was fully into yoga and back in the day and uh, um i was planning to go to india but i was a little bit afraid of going and i read the book i closed it i read it again i say i'm going yes. forget spain i'm not gonna go to spain right now i'm yeah. just gonna go to india i went for one month i stayed five months wow. and that was the beginning of my journey and i came back to la i said i can't live here anymore wow. i left everything in storage and I, I moved to Spain, you know, mm. and uh, I did the eat, I did the pray, and there was always in the back of my head that I needed to go to Bali because I needed to close the circle. I had a relationship that, um, that uh, was in the beginning of my, the, the end of my 30s, mm. and when I was going to turn 40, I wanted to go to Bali. And because I was starting the relationship, I decided not to go. Oh, and, that's a classic. Ooh, you should never do that. <laughs> that's oh, a classic. If yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. do something, go. just go. go and do it. Yeah. Forget about what the other person yeah, 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 wants. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do it later with you. That's never going to happen. I know. Just do it. Yeah. So anyway, I decided to, um, when we broke up, I took my car and I drove back to Miami in my car, in my little Fiat, mm -hmm. it's called Frijolito, oh, because, oh, it's, oh, because it's green, Fiat. yeah, <laughs> and I started blogging about my, my situation. I had a, I had a, a set, um, cultural center here for women, and I did micro theater there, and I did a bunch of stuff, and uh, that place, I had it for a year, and they asked me for the place back at the same time that I was breaking up, so I was in debt forty-five thousand oh, wow. dollars. Uh, I had no home, and I had a broken heart. And I said, "Well, I don't know what else I'm gonna do with my life." I had three thousand dollars in my bank account, and I owe forty-five thousand. So, oh, so wow. I took my car, started driving. When I got to Georgia, I say in the middle of a storm, I'm like, "I'm going to Bali. I have no money, but I'm going to Bali." So I call. I have enough points to get my tickets. I got my ticket to Bali for a month. I never came back. Wow. And, and now, you're, uh, and you now live in Bali, right? Now I live in Bali. 
and I basically just started the business there. Because and did you start on YouTube first? No, uh, people started following the blog that I was uh, oh, starting wow. so to like write while okay. I was um, doing the drive, mm -hmm. and it started the following the IG and blah blah blah, and um, and they everybody started asking me how do you do what you do. I heard that you had the opportunity to uh, marry a couple in one of these trips. Yes. How was that? Well, that was. Um, well, <laughs> well, you're like, well, that was what this after starting my trips, which are trips for women. I basically trying to get them in the journey that I, mm -hmm. I have all this knowledge accumulated yes. in the last 15 years. Um, I decided that I wanted to share this with girls mm -hmm. and well, girls, we are girls, yeah. right? <laughs> girls. And, uh, and so I started this platform and I am a TV producer and uh, the last show I had was a show of travels and uh, so it was pretty easy to put the trips together except that are not for fun only but a spirituality Spiritual. mm -hmm. yes. however it has three bases eat pray love meaning the whole side of the um, pleasure mm. the whole side of the search and the love is love for yourself which yeah. I also call it travel why travel because it's where it takes you out of your comfort zone one of these girls came to this trip trying um, to not marry this man that she'd been dating for six years so she wanted to break up with the story she didn't want anything to do with it and that's one of the reasons why she came oh. and in a meditation she decided that she was just running away from what she really Commitment. loved Commitment. that's what I do you yes. guys I'm trying to, I'm trying to face it so. but anyway thank you <laughs> yeah. so much Liliana for joining us I definitely want to take Take one of your chips because <laughs> I'm all about eat, pray, love. That book really did change my life too. And I saw the movie and I still kind of want to run away to Bali and Italy and find me the next Italiano. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately we are running out of time, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with Clarice Wildflower. <laughs> If you don't know her yet, it's your lucky day because Clarice Wildflower is sitting with us today and she's going to share with us the big no-nos of dating girls. So let's listen up. Okay, welcome Clarice. Welcome. Hi. 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 You're looking beautiful like, today. Yes. I love the oh. lipstick. I know. Oh, yeah. I think the wind just blew the right way, you know? Ooh, I know. <laughs> Everything's been feeling great and my I body is fit. I'm feeling like... 2020 is my year. This Yay. is your year. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, so you want to play a game with us? We want to know the do's Whoa, and the wait don'ts. Wait a minute. Fool me once. What yeah. kind of game is this? <laughs> yes. What are we doing? Yeah, You're going to tell us if it's a do or don't okay. in a dating. And if it's a do, we're going to say slay the guy, oh, right? Go slay, wow, girl. Okay. And if it's a nay, we're going to go nay. No dating you. Okay, guys? Yes. <laughs> um, well, you're right. on the right, girl. I'm an expert. Okay, have a good one. How about... If on the first date, the guy pays with the gift card. Wait, what? Gift card? Okay, <laughs> I'm straight up name. Wait, yeah. I almost vomited. That elicited an extreme response from you. That's a definite okay, name. She's like, hey, but I'm getting paid in <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hey, you don't know his situation. I'm not, he does, it doesn't mean that he's broke, okay? Go up to mean. Randall at the bar in Spago and ask him if they, they serve gift cards. I don't think so. They serve, True. They serve right. martinis. Or like Morton Steakhouse. And a damn good salmon pizza, but not a gift card. Right? <laughs> so that's a, a nay, nay. Nothing nay. It's a big nay. Nay, it's okay. She says it's okay. okay. Oh my God. I like it. She's like, as long as they pay for my dinner, I'm I feel like I'm that's not, not the bad. game. It's either nay or slay, so pick one. Shit. She said already slay. I say slay. Slayish. 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 You look so beautiful. <laughs> She's not 100% sure. It's a tough question. It's a, it's a tough question. It's a tough question. So These girls are let's offensively see. beautiful. <laughs> Oh, so let's see another another do or don't. Oh, tell okay, us. my turn. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Would you date a guy who smells but is good in bed? Oh, oh no. no, that is my biggest turn off. Is a guy that smells Wait, funny. What? Oh. Yeah. You okay, know. but what if he's a freaking tiger? Like, Ew, come but, on. But it's a no. smelly it's a smell. freaking tiger. Yeah, you don't want to smell. smell. Even though, I mean, technically, <laughs> technically, we are. We're technically like attracted to people's, um, what is the ecosystem? Like if we, so if like we were even blind the armpits in this world, 
Right. We were not. We can Wait, not deal with no. that smelly tiger. But if the tiger maybe was you know fugly but it smelled good, you can you can tell. Yes. Wait, yeah. You want to be blind? Yes. I have a doctor. No, I'm saying like uh. if we were all blind. <laughs> no. Okay. On, on this, both are in like in a vacation in a spa or like I don't know like oh a my resort. God. In a bikini? And like, in are we getting a facial? Yeah, we're Wait, getting. Pay the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like all sweaty. Yeah. Oh my God. If the guy and the girl are sweaty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go. Okay. And you both smell. smell like and you both yeah. smell. Yeah. Okay. So if you both smell. But okay. spa. That's, like, that's okay. That's okay. That's I would say what sleep about, to that. What about sex on a first date? Oh. Is that a do or um, a don't? That's a definite so. Hey. That's really the only time I have sex. <laughs> on the first day? Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, you get it all one. out. You get it all out. And then it's like, yeah, on to the next one. Yeah, one. To the next one. Or, one. like, you can touch me, but not inside anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Like, okay. do you yeah, just like, lose? the main gates are closed, but... You know, anyway. Yeah, I, yeah. I say okay. nay okay. too because yeah. honestly, when I have done it, I lose interest overnight. Right mm -hmm. And people are always like, "Oh, you're such a dude." Which why does it have to be such a dude? No, thing? that's the Gemini in you. I'm telling it you. Is. Oh my God, you're a Gemini. <laughs> yeah. On to the next one. <laughs> be how? Oh my God, how? <laughs> yeah, I lose interest, and guys are always like, "No, no, you won't with me. I'm gonna be so good. Doesn't matter how good. He can make me come two times. I'll be like, I just don't care to see you anymore." Yeah. <laughs> I just... I honestly... Wow. Right? I think we just had a connection. We did. Yeah, yeah we did. Wow. That was beautiful. <laughs> BFFs right here. BFFs right, right here. Yeah. Okay, one because more. what else do we have to offer you? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's there's like, nothing. There's no more excitement. Like, there's okay, nothing to yeah, look forward like, to. My hair got off. And yeah. I, and like whatever. Yeah, but thank I'm you for done. the O. Yeah, thank you, right here. Right. Thank you for the O. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you have no <laughs> Let's what? see. What's another, what's another do know, or don't? Girl, I'm what's like... another do or don't? What do you oh think? What's another do? Wow, okay. A no no. A a no no. Well, for him, what, what no. would it be for her? A okay. no no for her. So, for a guy initially to, ha to undress my flower, mm -hmm. right? To go all the way, he first has to go down on me for 80 minutes. What? Yeah. I say slay. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put a timer on. Yeah, and he, and he can't leave. Off. Yeah, no food, no drinks. Yeah, he has to stay no down there for 80 drinks. minutes. Yeah, for 80 minutes. I like Before that. The water. I haven't yeah. done the 80 minutes, but I like them to go down first. Because yeah. that means he is a giver. Right, right, right. He's a because giver. Guys, He's a giver. Because yeah. some guys, they just want to get it in and out, and it's I like, hey, sleep, yeah. man. Oh, like, give girl, sex, you can give come, your money, you and then leave. You can come 12 times in one session. I've Whoa. done it. 12 times is my oh max. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, girls, we can keep talking about all this. <laughs> Thank you for all the tips, Clarice. We're going to a commercial, but we'll be right back. And we are back with an amazing, inspiring story about a Latina who made a successful career out of her biggest insecurity. Kind of what happened to me with Curvy Girls Fitness. Let's check out Sylvia Call's segment on Esa Soy Yo. Hello, my name is Silvia Cal. I'm from Spain. I have a PR agency. I'm an actress and a TV host. And I was insecure about meeting new people. Esa soy yo. I started having that insecurity when I was very, very young. So when I was in kindergarten, my teacher called my mom and she said, look, I'm worried about your kid because she doesn't want to hang out with anybody. My mom asked me, she's like, what happens? And I'm like, I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to be by myself. So that insecurity back in the day made me have anxiety. So for example, there was this one kid when I was like seven years old or so, he liked me and I hated him <laughs> for that. So I would run away from him at school. And one day he gave me this love letter and I just didn't even want to read it. I threw it uh, on the floor and then I went home, and but the whole day I had this like, like bad feeling, like if I was sick, kind of. And I was with my sister and my mom having dinner, and I started crying. And they're like, "What's going on?" And I'm like, "This kid gave me a love letter." <laughs> they're like, "Okay." And my sister said, "Why? That's great. That's a good thing. You know, my friend would be so happy. She would be showing everybody that a love letter." And suddenly. Those few words made me completely change my mind and think, oh, so it's actually a good thing. My older sister, for example, she was always a big influence on me. So whatever she told me, 
it would affect me in a good way. It kind of changed my mind, but also then I had to work. Then I, when I was 18, I started working as a flight attendant. So I had to meet new people every day in every flight and it was good and I made really good friends. And then I moved to Los Angeles and I went to the university and in all these places I had to just meet new people. Then I started to work in a PR agency and I had this client who would go to all the high-end events in Hollywood and he wanted me to introduce him to all these A-list celebrities uh, in the red carpet. So I had to introduce myself to the celebrity and then introduce him to them. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> how am I gonna approach this super big actor? And they actually were so nice, so welcoming. They didn't know what I was approaching them for, but they were like, oh, how are you? So nice to meet you. Uh, where are you from? So I realized that it was not a bad thing, that it's actually good. And it's a good way of meeting people. Fears are all in our own mind, so life is all about how you take it. So just think that, don't, don't think about anything as serious. Life is not so serious, so just relax and try to see the positive side of everything. And if you fear something, go for it, you know, confront it and you will realize that it's not as bad as you think. Having my own peer company, I have to deal with people all the time, and there are all kinds of people, so you just have to adapt to each person. You know, there's people who are more difficult, there are people who are really nice and really easy to work with, so you just have to try to adapt as best as you can. My name is Silvia Cal. I'm from Spain. I have a PR company. I'm an actress and a TV host, and I love meeting new people. Eso soy yo. Well, that was all for today, but remember to follow us on Get A Girl TV and LA TV Network. Bye. Bye. Bye.